Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, we just got a big container of products in from Europe in our warehouse, and a lot of the stuff that was inside there was mini art. And I plan in a future video to take a bunch of these kits and build a diorama using all of these. And what I thought I would do is show you some of the kits actually in the warehouse as they're coming off the uh, the container let you see some of those and then we'll open up a few of them to show you what the detail looks like because i know a lot of you uh, might not know what mini art looks like inside so let's get started everyone we're here in the back in the warehouse here where we just received a container and inside that container was mini art and I want to share with you guys some mini art stuff now that we have a huge collection of it just some of the really cool things that mini art makes that if you're a 35th scale diorama builder mini arts the company for you so we're gonna start off right here and this is some of the stuff that we've already had for a while that's already come in but you can see we've got some things like buildings and vehicles but then as we come over to this section, or even these tractors, I should point out too, great, great uh, background pieces that if you're going to build a diorama. And then every type of accessory imaginable from them. So you'll have things like this, that is a milk bottles with wooden crates to put around the side of your diorama. Figure sets galore. Uh, things like this for the military stuff, the rockets. Lots and lots of civilian stuff though. So you can get things like tram supports and street lights, uh, a metal bridge, things like that. Now, so these, these have been here and we've had these already checked in. As we come around over here, actually you can see some more of the stuff that's available. But then these are all the things that we just pulled in off the, uh, the container and just boxes and boxes of figures. Or oh, look at this thing, German tankman painting camo. Um, there's the airbrush just painting everything around. So if you want to do a cool diorama with something like that, uh, German drivers and police officers. Here is a set of European or Eastern European home stuff. Think about building a, a knocked out house or even an intact house. You can put all this kind of stuff around inside. Give your diorama some character. There's street signs. And then there's modern stuff too. There's things like this. Plastic trash cans. You're doing a, a modern scene. Uh, equipment like uh, Soviet infantry automatic weapons. I mean, look at this thing. This is just so odd. Who would ever thought that a company would have made scaffolding? And when I say odd too, I don't mean in a bad way. This is just cool stuff that you'd have around in a scene. And then as we walk right over in here, you want to pan right into here. I'll show you. All of this stuff is mini art that we're unboxing. We did get a few scratch and dents. Uh, someone on a forklift somewhere didn't like that. And that's what's all ending up over in this stuff here. So we'll have a big scratch and dent sale, I'm sure, soon. All of these things. Look at this. U.S. bulldozers. Something like that. Or look at this, guys. We see a lot of these in our warehouse already. Wooden pallets and, and pallet jacks and hand trucks. Very, very cool stuff. I'm gonna bring you right around over into here and show you some of this stuff. These are some of the newer ones, like piano set. Here's, um, and they also make very, uh, and I use the word unusual in the sense that you don't very often see a Panzer III B. It's one of the very early ones with, with the tons of road wheels on it. Something different rather than just the standard Panzer III you see all the time. We've got lots and lots of vehicles that have come in everything from oh this is something that i really love these are the petrol stations now this is a french petrol station so you have all the things like the equipment like the uh, compressor and the two fuel pumps here as well as oil cans but when we walk around to the other side we've got one for german and for italian great ideas for a diorama these are the new austin armored cars um, the ball tanks this is the, uh, the, I guess, the German version of it there. Cargo trucks. Uh, we've got stuff like this. A street fruit shop. And what I'll do is, uh, in a little while too, I'll open up all of the, or not all of them. I will open up some of these to show you what the quality looks like inside there. But I love that thing right there, as well as, and these right here, these plastic chairs. 
Uh, you guys probably see these all the time. If you visit a Walmart in summertime, you're gonna see those definitely. And then as we come around over here, look at some of this cool stuff here. We've got this German tankman with a gantry train. So here we've got the gantry train, the rails, and they're pulling out a Panzer III engine, which is included in this too. This is be just a great little set to throw around it. We also have things like a construction set, just piles of bricks and ladders and all the other equipment that goes with it. And then as we dig deeper in here, here's office furniture, just a set of office furniture. Just unusual stuff like that. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is a cool one. We got some police uh, motorcycles as well as just a serviceman on a motorcycle with uh, Thompson. Is anything different on the bottom? No, all, all machine guns. Oh, and here, here we are. So here's the Italian petrol station, different types of pumps. And then also they make a German one as well. And these cars in the background, there are lots of these cars available too that uh, Mini Art makes. And then you've got things like trams. Here's a Soviet tram. I think there's a German tram around here too, as well as some other different countries. And here's another cool set. Dinner on the front. So this kind of set here, you'd get figures, all the cooking equipment, the stove, all that stuff. Basically everything you need to do a quick little diorama with right there. And then as we flip around here, We've got more stuff in all of these boxes too. I know they say IBG on the box, but there's all kinds of, uh, of mini art inside, like farm carts, all that. So what I will do right now is I'm gonna grab a couple of these sets, open them up and show you what they look like. What I thought I'd do now is open up three different, different types of sets to show you what comes inside a mini art kit. The first one that I chose is this field workshop and all these little tiny accessories that you see on here are going to be inside this kit. That's what makes these so useful for dioramas. We're also going to take a look at, this is a new one, this is musical instruments. Uh, so you got guitars and trumpets and violins and banjos, all kinds of cool stuff that you could just throw around as scenery, background scenery for your diorama. And finally, a box of sheep. And I actually think this is kind of cool because this goes along with their animal series that they've come out with. Um, last uh, couple months ago, I should say, they came out with a box of pigeons to put in dioramas. And I just can picture a diorama scene with um, some scenery, you know, like a field or something, tanks going by, and some sheep off into a, a, a grazing pasture there. So we're going to take a look at all three of these right now. And here we have the box of the field workshop open up. And now I'm going to just take them all apart and show you the individual pieces and all the detail that come inside this kit. To start off with, you're going to get two of these tables. See right here with all the wood grain cut into them and the legs. You also get a, uh, a holder for the acetylene tank. So this is the little cart with the wheels and then the, uh, the metal work here with the bottom. You also get a variety of boxes, just like that, and some tools. Look at some of these tools here. So we've got some wrenches, a big anvil, hammers, oil cans, all kinds of cool stuff to go inside there. You get two tanks. One could be, a, actually four tanks, pardon me. So you have an oxygen and an acetylene, and then, of course, the bottoms on it. You get some 50 gallon drums, just like this. And these are the, uh, the moldings on the edge here to give it some really good detail on the 50 gallon drums. You got a little gas tank, a, two other gas tanks with some slide molding done on, I believe this is like a little, maybe oil or something, I'm not positive. If you know what it is, please tell me in the, uh, the comments down below. Some slide molded buckets and a can. Pretty nice looking right there. Looks like this is a ladder. And another fuel tank. Here are the tops. Oh, pull this off right here. Tops of the 50 gallons and some more supports. I believe this is a, a chair right here. You get two of those as well. 
And finally, the last uh, little piece that comes in here is the toolbox section that has some little plastic tools inside of it. You can see you got some really nice detail on all of those, as well as a photo etch fret, which we have a couple of saw blades, a couple of uh, wrenches, and bucket handles, as you can see those there, as well as the center support for the jerry cans. So you get those on there as well. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, musical instruments. So inside this kit, you get two identical sprues of the same thing, plus a sheet of musical note paper that you can cut up and move around in there. But now I just want to get in there close and just show you what is in here. So we have what looks like a mandolin, a violin, a banjo, a couple of drums. We've got some slide molding done over here up on top. Looks like a guitar case. Oh, there's the actual guitar itself. Well, let's here. That looks pretty nice. I mean, remembering this is very, very tiny stuff. And now we will take a look at the sheep set. Now the sheep set, as you can see here, there are two different unique sprues. This one has uh, two sheep on here in grazing and walking around. This one has two different patterns with a lamb on it as well. So you get a total of three of this one and three of this one. So you get a grand total of 15 sheep in this uh, set. And you can see they got a nice little uh, design on there for their fleece lamb and then of course their head parts where their ears I should say are molded separately those get dropped right into place but stuff like that I personally just love I think that adds so much to dioramas or all these little accessories whether it's a guitar sitting somewhere a sheep in a field uh, just all the little just some tools all that all makes a kit or a diorama I should say very very nice so, so there you go, guys. There is a quick look at some of the mini art stuff. There is lots and lots of stuff that we didn't show you. Uh, hundreds of kits out there. Uh, they're all available on our website right now at andyshhq.com. So I would definitely recommend go taking a look at them. So there you go, guys. There's a quick look at mini art. I want to thank you guys as always for watching. And please stay tuned. We have many more videos coming.